Innovative Technology Lessons by Amy Hemisberg, EDU 709, Innovative Uses of Technology. Introduction. I love integrating technology into everyday lessons. I think that it makes the lessons more interesting and the kids seem to enjoy it as well. I chose to do um, my lessons using a few of the innovative technologies we've used during this course. However, I did not use the innovative technologies I used in my searching project because I didn't think they were mainstream enough that it was really a feasible idea to do um, in a real classroom, you know, during this time. Um, so instead I chose to do, um, have my students to use wikis, blogs, and a classroom website for the first lesson. And then for the second lesson, I have them take what they've learned using those wikis and blogs in the classroom website and create a presentation using PowerPoint to share what they've learned with their peers. Lesson one, groups of four to five students will complete the language arts assignments from the class website created by the teacher onto their group wiki. Each group is responsible for completing the following items after creating their group wiki. They will do discussion questions, vocabulary, quizzes, tests, and a final book project. So this is the classroom website where they will be able to retrieve all of their information. Not only will it have all of their assignments listed um, and the dates that they are due, but it will also house all their comprehension questions, vocabulary questions, quizzes, and tests for them to um, take. Technology and skills. The teacher will need to have computer and internet access with the website set up um, where their assignments will be posted and directions are given ahead of time. Students will need to use um, computers, um, whether it is at school, in the classroom, or in the lab, um, and possibly even at home if they have it. They will also need to have internet access to um, access their wiki. The teacher will need to have general computer internet knowledge and knowledge of the website creation and wikis and of course be able to help them with anything they might need during this process. Students will also need to be taught how to use a wiki and, um, and also have the general computer internet knowledge to be able to access their wiki and put all their information onto that. Products and procedures. Students will be creating a group wiki and completing the various vocabulary assignments of choice. Um, I will give them a choice of assignments um, so they can kind of have a little variety in the way they do their vocabulary assignments. They will also be completing comprehension questions and a book project of their choice. They will be given a list of 10 topics uh, or 10 ways to complete their book project and they can choose whichever one they would like. Students will all get into their groups and discuss which tasks they will accomplish and how they will accomplish them and then they will create their wiki and invite only group members and the teacher to become editors. Students will then begin working and commu communicating effectively over a set period of time to complete the tasks assigned. So there are several advantages and disadvantages to doing the project this way. Students will be working collaboratively, which is a huge advantage um, to complete tasks that will have normally been given on an individual basis. It reinforces their language arts skills that they need to learn while also incorporating a really valuable life skill, which is working cooperatively. And then of course, integrating that technology piece, which is a unique and fun way to accomplish this task. This is also a green way to complete the task because students will not be turning in endless sheets of paper. And I can also monitor their progress online um, by checking into their wiki and guiding students in the right direction, keeping them on track, and also making sure everyone is putting in a, uh, a group effort into their project. There are a couple disadvantages. One of them is that um, students may not have access to internet or computers at home. This could create the need for more time during school or in the lab for students to complete the tasks. And lab time, as we all know, is not often something easy to get to. Um, so the project could end up taking a little bit longer than expected. And then of course there's always um, some sort of technical difficulty. So I think that um, to kind of stop that from happening, at least have or fix the problem when it does start, is to have a backup plan for all assignments um, just in case those things do come up. Instructional strategies. Uh, I use three instructional strategies, or I guess I would like to highlight three instructional strategies used in this lesson. The first is differentiated instruction to meet the needs of all learners. Giving students a choice is one great way to kind of differentiate that instruction, give them a choice in their learning, um, and I've done that by giving them choices on their vocabulary words, their book projects, and things like that, and then also letting them choose as a group who's going to do what tasks. Um, having that collaborative learning environment where students are working together in a positive way, and then integrating technology by using uh, wikis and things like that. 
innovation transfer. The possibilities are really endless here with wikis. Um, this technique could easily be transferred to other subject areas, especially in social studies and in science. Um, it gives students a chance to kind of be the teacher and um, show everyone what they've learned. You could also incorporate students from other classes or even other schools in your wiki and really get collaborative. Um, we've all used pen pals before. This would be a great way to kind of um, update the pen pal system. Lesson number two. Um, in lesson two, the students will create a PowerPoint presentation using their work created in their wiki in the previous assignment and share it with their peers. This way they're kind of um, sharing what they've learned, being the teacher, and um, it's a little bit more fun. Technology and skills. Students and teachers will need computers or um, either whether it's in the classroom, the lab, or at home, internet access, possibly a digital camera, a projector, and um, a video camera depending on the book project they chose. Teacher also needs to know how to use each of the technology pieces listed above and also be able to assist students in using them. You definitely don't want to give your students um, ideas and then not be able to assist them when they need help. Students will also need to be taught how to use PowerPoint and possibly their digital camera if necessary. They will already know how to use the computer's internet from the previous lessons and shouldn't have any trouble accessing um, what they've already created. Products and procedures. Students will be asked to create a presentation including 10 vocabulary words of their choice. Um, the reason they're getting a choice on that is because e each student um, could to do their vocabulary words in a different way. It's not that they're all done the same way. And three to five pre-selected comprehension questions um, by the teacher. This way, we're not hearing the same answers to these questions over and over and over again. And then their final book project. Students will also need to be able to add slides, text, pictures, and possibly video, depending on which book project they chose to complete. There are, of course, some advantages and disadvantages, again, when doing any project, but by creating a presentation of their work, the students will be able to show off their hard work and give a sense of purpose to their projects where it's not just, we're just doing this for the teacher, they actually have a reason because they're going to present it. And they may also work a little bit harder to finish their projects and have that sense of pride in their work. Um, one of the disadvantages that is that all students, again, may not have access to the internet or computers at home, which could create um, more time being needed at school or in the lab for students to complete the tasks. And again, we've discussed before, lab time is not often easy to get, so the project could take longer. And again, with those technical difficulties, having that backup plan for all the work that the students are doing and or just giving yourself more time just in case those areas come up where you're having difficulties. Instructional strategies. Differentiated instruction to meet the needs of all learners. Um, same strategy as the previous lesson, but again used a little bit differently. Um, collaborative learning environment, having these students work together to complete this project, and then the integration of technology using PowerPoint to present their information. Innovative transfer. The possibilities are really endless with presentations. This technique could easily be transferred to other subject areas such as social studies and science where instead of you teaching, you can have your students take a section in your book and have them teach the class by using presentations. You could also incorporate students from other classes in your presentations. And then to continue that further, have students from other schools um, where you record the presentation ahead of time and send it to them where they can watch it as well. It could be a really good learning experience for everyone.